Dark mode or night mode is growing at an exponential rate, with Android Q about to adopt more eye-friendly designs and a few other OEMs already having the feature, here's a few extra third-party apps to get you started. Kiwi Browser is one of the few web browsers on Android that has a fully encompassing dark mode included. No messing around with Chrome flags, just a pure dark mode across the entirety of the web. All you have to do is flip the night mode switch and the usually white web pages are toned down and much easier to navigate. It's not perfect, but it's one of the better implementations of a dark mode web. Opera has its own take on night mode that allows you to tweak the brightness of web pages so you don't lose legibility, instead you just get dimmer websites. While I have to say this isn't quite as good as Kiwi's method or great for usage in bright environments, it's another alternative that still proves to be a good option and includes all of the Opera's goodness on top. If you want a more feature packed SMS client then Textra might be a good option. It also happens to include a dark mode and full theme editor for you to play around with allowing you to tweak until your heart's content. It also turns out that if you're big into SMS messaging Textra is actually a pretty decent app on top. Solid File Explorer is still my go-to file management client for Android and it includes a superb dark theme and theme editing tool on top. You can opt for a simple day and night theme that will change automatically or tone down even further to a proper deep black theme. What's more, you can adjust the theme accents for even yet more personalization options. Gboard is a great keyboard, but SwiftKey has the upper hand when it comes to themes in general. That does mean that you have an even greater number of dark or night mode options to choose from and customize with. While of course it's all down to personal preference, the dark themes on SwiftKey are miles ahead of any other third party keyboard out there in my opinion, and that does include the first party Gboard app itself. Arguably the best third party podcast app, Pocket Cast might have had a polarizing facelift, but the dark theme is still one of the best implementations on the Android platform. Like some others, it has a dark theme and then an extra dark theme, which is tailored for AMOLED displays, which is why this is still my favorite podcast client app by far. Boost for Reddit is a Reddit client that I've only recently become accustomed with. It has tons of options for theming too, right out of the gate, including a dark night blue and an AMOLED black option. Like Solid File Explorer, you can also tweak the accents and a ton of extras to suit your own eyes, which I think is why this is such a great option for anyone who spends hours browsing Reddit on their smartphone. Unfortunately, there aren't a ton of decent third-party weather apps full stop, so having one that is detailed, easy to understand and has a great dark mode is a massive bonus. Luckily, Clara Weather does, although it only has a solitary Darth Vader theme to soften the blow from night usage. I must admit though it does work well and still ensures that you can gather all of the detailed weather updates you need on a daily basis. Inware is actually developed by one of our own team members but that doesn't stop it from being one of the best hardware management apps on the Play Store. It even has a customizable dark mode enabled right off the bat which is one of the reasons it is still one of the best third party system hardware monitors on the Google Play Store. As far as RSS readers go, Feedly might be one of the biggest and well known names but that doesn't mean it's bad, far from it as it's one of the best that is made even better with a proper AMOLED friendly black mode. Considering I use this application daily across multiple devices, I almost overlooked it, but Feedly is still one of the best of the bunch in my opinion. So there we have it, a starter pack of some of the best third party apps that include a dark mode or night mode. By no means is this meant to be a comprehensive list, I think it's just an array of options that you might want to take a look at. Of course we definitely want to hear your suggestions, so drop a comment down there and let us know your favourite third party apps that have a proper dark mode or night mode included. One more thing before you head off, remember to subscribe to the channel for more content just like this. But until next time, this is Damien for 9to5Google and I will speak to you later.